All right, perfect. Now we get to show you how all of those biomechanics come into play with the jab. Here we are once again, 60 second tutorial. This is the skill drill. Let me show you specifically what it looks like and now you'll get an opportunity to get up and try this. Knees, knees bent on the balls of your feet, as we said before. The next thing is to hands up in position and you're gonna deliver the jab and you won't just throw the jab like you see people doing <sighs> typically. You're gonna throw the jab and your head will be off the line, the chin will be down and <sighs> elbows tuck tight. <sighs> so do it just like this. <sighs> one, one, each direction. One, one. Now you see why it's so important that you allow your heel to turn those knees to be bent for optimal balance and the head off the line so get the drill warmed up like this and you see you're not locked down three rounds one minute rounds minimal let's see what it feels like Back to the topic at hand. This is getting good. Special shouts out to my brothers in the school of boxing, TSOB. Work. TSOB, what's up, man? This is uh, Calvin out of uh, Northern Virginia, right outside of uh, DC. Wanted to do a testimonial, uh, just motivated by Lasharsky. Uh, he did one yesterday, and I wanted to do one myself. I know he's trying to get to the next level, so am I in terms of my endeavors, so I wanted to make sure I put something up. Uh, especially while I have the warm and fuzzy. So, I wouldn't call it a, an epiphany. I'm definitely having a moment of clarity right now um, in terms of, you know, where I'm at, you know, uh, in terms of my career, uh, you know, where I'm at in boxing, personal training, what I want to do when I grow up. And I will say that TSOB has given me a great boat of confidence to keep pushing um, and due in part to Coach Bradley's background that, you know, he wasn't necessarily, from what I understand, Coach Bradley, you didn't act, you weren't a pro boxer, um, but you are still an elite uh, trainer, professor uh, of men uh, and women uh, to get them to the elite level, whether it's Olympics, or, or pro and that's giving me motivation um, to just keep just keep pushing because you know even though I have great spine I have you know some 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 smokers you know my I picked up boxing late so it was really kind of too late for me to really and at least I looked at in terms of my age you know to really make a impact impact or have an impactful experience uh, when it comes to boxing so um, I guess that was always kind of affecting my confidence a little bit, but man, I will tell you, I am glad I actually took the chance to do this because I've always, you know, I think it's human nature, street smart, just to always be skeptical of things, skeptical of things, whether it's online, whether it's in the streets, whatever it may be. And I'm glad I took the chance on this because it's, it's shown me things that I didn't know. It's reinforced things that I didn't know. It's, giving me fresh perspective and in, in terms of how I, I approach my my personal training position um, because I don't want to just be I want to be the best best personal trainer I can be but I want to actually certainly surpass that someday and I don't have a lot of time to dedicate because you know I, I, I work in government tech sales and it's pretty demanding so I do the personal thing the personal training boxing coach thing on the side to stay close to the to the to the gym stay close to the sport um and just learn pick up new things man but i've kind of stayed in my own lane you know what i mean i've stayed in my lane i ain't, i haven't really stepped out the box and i will say in it to to really make a, 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 a um to really make a splash and become successful sometimes you gotta step out your lane a little bit and i will say this that the school of boxing is giving me that confidence and that's what this to, to this testimonial is about um Essentially, I just have more confidence now. 
um, when it comes to my clients, when it comes to telling them what I can bring to the table, building value, whether it's from what I already have or 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 presenting um, myself along with having the tutelage uh, from the school of boxing. And uh, it's, it's today I just signed up a client um, who was, you know, kind of they just signed up for a membership, didn't want to pay any more. But when I did a personal training with their son and start going over some of the basics uh, and, and really having the what, when, and how, and where's of what I already know, but also what Coach Bradley has put in these tutor these these videos uh, in the program, and just some of the other tips that I've watched, it it it, it was almost a no brainer. Um, and you know his his mom signed him up, and we're gonna work. I mean, we're gonna work, and and I can say that for other clients that I've had recently in the last three weeks or, or so, I've, I've signed up more folks, man. And I see I see the results, and I'm happy about them. And um, I, I see the light at the end of the tunnel because someday I want to own my own gym or own my own mobile gym where I bring the heavy bags to you. You get in my semi truck and that's the gym. You know what I mean? So I got ideas, man. And, I, you know, I know that to do that, there's learning the technique and the skill of being a trainer. Um, but there's also running the business. And. Right now, I'm just going to concentrate on being the best personal trainer I can be and running my own personal business. Um, but trust me, that is in the future, and I know that there is a level to this to this program um, that can also give me um, give me some insight into that. My my insight my 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 um, approaches with my clients are much more insightful now, and I'm not going to talk y'all head off. That's it. I appreciate it. Thanks, Coach Bradley, for all you do. Have a good one.